everyone welcome back to another video today i'm gonna give you three more motion templates and this time it's again titles so all these titles are actually infographics titles and you can use them on your everyday videos school projects corporate videos or you know just your research videos but before the proper start of today's video please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video drop a comment to show support or ask me if you have any questions or just suggest me what should i do for the next video so to get this pack you have to download it from the google drive and the link is in the description box however there's a new link below and you can you know make a donation if you want but there's no pressure of course and after you've already downloaded the file and unzip if you need to this will be the folder that you see and you can open it and see there are three subfolders if not you can copy this you know main folder and go to go home movies motion template and just paste it under the titles folder and that's all you need to do restart your final cut pro go to the titles and generators sidebar and you can see the lc charts and bars something like that and you can find three of them under the you know subheading and how to apply them is pretty simple as well you can either apply them over clips over video clips or apply them directly so for time's sake i'm just gonna show you how to apply them over videos so just select one of them for example circle and just drag it onto your timeline on top of your video so instantly you can notice that the background is blurred and if you don't like this you can always go to the titles inspector on your top right hand corner and you know bring down the value of background blur like this and if you want to increase the background blur you can always come over here and max out the value like this and if you think that white color is not very visible you can change the color over here the text color and you can change it say to red color and even the grid you can change the color to red as well and that's all you need to do if you want to change the fill color go ahead and make adjustments if not you can always zoom in the scale over here like this pretty easy or you can you know shift the position like this and if you think that the words are still not as desirable you can just you know, click on this text box and go to the text inspector and change the font if you need to and of course you can go to the outline box as well and make an extra layer of outline so it becomes very visible instantaneously on the other hand it's actually a diagram with values and you can always change the value like this with the point and you might need to learn how to control all the points one by one but generally that's how you change the values yeah in short and that's about it for the first one and let's move on to the next one so let's go to ring first because it's easier to explain so this is the ring and you know you can always increase the background blur like just now and yep the sizes is the same you can change over here and you can change the color over here as well you can always change the circle to make it a you know complete circle like this or just you know completely make it disappear like this so it left with one one ring something like that or you can just make the, the very first ring disappear and just make it you know with one ring left in the on the inside that's all you need to do on the other hand you can change the number the color of the number like this pretty easy everything is the same and the second color is the word below the number and you can change it over here pretty easy as well and that's pretty much for the second one and please remember there is a build-in and build-up option so if you deselect both of them it will just appear directly if you select both of them you can appear with a animation and disappears with another animation lastly let's move on to the most difficult and most complicated one the horizontal bars 
as always you can put it on your timeline you can shrink the entire duration like this or lengthen it if you need to and as usual there is also built in and built out and let's bring your attention to mode so what is this thing so as you can see the original is with a comparison you and them and there's a title over here as well you can change them by clicking the text box obviously you can change them to say houses built something like that and you can obviously change the, the, the font uh, the the color and outline over here as well but yeah you can always change it from another place and you can change the color of the words beside the x and y axis as well so the y axis you can change say to red color and y to say yellow over here pretty easy and you can change the actual axis color as well say to green and let's again bring your attention to mode so now it's original you can click and choose vertical so this diagram will become vertical but please do take note that the x and y axis will be you know in the opposite if you change it to vertical and you can change to no comparison vertical as well so the lines will be only single lines across different years or horizontal without comparison or single line vertical that is only one year and with the y axis still you know there and single line horizontal also one year with the x axis yeah, that's pretty customizable as well and you can change the values over here on the you know the actual value changing part yeah. and lastly you can always change the color of the graphs yep that's all you need to do and pretty much that is all I wanted to show you for today's short video Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and again please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video drop a comment to show your support or you know ask me if you have any questions that's all see you next time and bye bye